seated. It has been a good year. You know, a good year. I say it has been a good year. This week I have had uh, two friends. Actually, the last, this is the, almost the third week when this happened. I got a message when I was away. The message was that I have lost a brother to a brother who was my friend, who I stayed with in Banana Hill, where I stayed for a, for a couple of years. Now, one of my friends who was the best man of my friend, that's a good one, eh? of my friend that I used to stay with, whose brother died. He was in that Mashakaya and he was the chairman because the guy had died uh, that weekend. So on that Monday, Monday the 16th, he was chairing the meeting for the, the first day for the meeting of the Mashakaya for my friend, my friend's brother in Baltimore, Maryland. After the Mashakai and he had prayed and blessed the, the Lord and asked the Lord to bless the food they were going to eat, before he even turned around to have a meal, he received a call from the police. He was told, are you so and so? He said, yes. We are so sorry to announce to you that your son has been hit by a car and has died. He was mourning, my friend. His son has died. So when I got the information, I called him. From wherever I was, I called him. I said, brother, I've gotten this information and I'm so sorry. And I told him this word. God is still good for you. But brother, nobody demands you to pretend that he is good and you are feeling so good. But my prayer is that you will say he is so good until you believe it. Until your spirit believes it. Yesterday, so we were burying yesterday, so finally he had to come to Kenya with the two coffins. One of my friend's brother and the other one for his son. They landed on Sunday. Now yesterday we were burying the, the brother to my friend. Yesterday. And he came. And I would look at him. He is mourning. But yet he has a word to tell others. We give him an opportunity to tell others. The point that I'm bringing to you is that regardless of any situation, carry, your, carry the praise of God within you. He came and spoke words that encouraged a lot of us. Because that is also a part of his morning. And we will bury his son on Sunday. Oh no, on Friday. We will do it on Friday. That we can Talk about the goodness of the Lord to a level that the week, uh, the week, the years, the months, this year has been terrible for you, but you can look around and pick something of the goodness of the Lord. I told you about Isaiah because we, we, we talked about Isaiah chapter 9 and I'm going to pick it from there. That Isaiah comes with a positive word even when they are getting into captivity. Isaiah got, receives a revelation from God and he speaks about the goodness of the Lord in spite of or regardless of. Yani, anatangaza we mawake mungu. Hata kama hali niovu VP. Katika moyo wake anaona ukuu wa mungu. Nandipo nikasema ni vizuri tujifunze kumshukuru mungu. Kwa sababu wengine mwaka umefika, mbaka tunashangaa, at leo ni Christmas. Yani unajiangalia mwenye unasama ni Christmas. Mimi, huyu mungu ni wajabu. Kwa sababu wabu kuna wengine waliku write off, lakini sasa ni Christmas. Nekutana na mama mwingine, akanambia, Bishop, mina shukuru mungu mwaka huu. Nilikuwa na hela nyingi za kulipa shule. Lakini sijui bwana alifanya nini. Mimi nilikuwa nikitumia tu karatasi ya kwamba fisi imelipwa. Huyo ni mama, ana watoto kadhaa, anachukua mkono wake na kumsifu Mungu. 
mwaka umekuwa mwaka wa baraka na wale ambao tumekuwa tukisoma mwaka na unajua walimu wengine ni wazuri sana wanaharibu makaratasi yetu tukiwapelekea wanatumia kalamu ya wino mwekundu kila mahali kalamu mwekundu ukiandikiwa na kalamu nyekundu inakuwa ni ni, 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 ni ni kali sana kwa mfano wale wale ambao tumeshaandika papers na utolekea mwalimu anaweka hiyo round kubwa na anasema hii ulitoa wapi sasa hiyo anakuambia umeiba ujasema kule ulitoa yeye uliandika kastori ukajifanya we ni original na mwalimu ni mwerevu anakuambia wewe sema hii ulitoa wapi sasa hiyo ni karibu page nusu page lakini ume graduate hata kama si unaona ni Mungu mkuu so you can turn back and say god regardless of how many red pens were in my papers nimefaulu regardless of how many times i've been to hospital the lord has ministered his grace to me so we can have something we can bless god the world is full of people that don't see anything good anything kiweleweke kitangatanga ukiangalia hutaona kitu kizuri but you know kiweleweke kitangatanga ukitaka kuona kitu kizuri utapata pale bbi iwe mbovu unaweza pata bbi ka kitu kizuri huko ndani bwana asifiwe hata katiba yetu ni mbaya ite percent lakini huko huko katikati katikati unapata kitu kizuri blessed is a person who picks the good that there is so that you can rejoice in the lord god of you will hate this country If everything is awful you will hate this country but there is something good I went to a funeral on Monday eh hey, hii wiki imekuwa ya mafuniro went to a funeral on Monday in Kenakofu Now the bishop that was the presiding bishop happened to have come to this church when he was a young man but I didn't know Kwa hivyo hata wewe uko hapa kama bwana siku moja atakunua wewe askofu barikiwa lakini ukiniona nipe kikombe cha maji bwana usini tisha hivi so alini hakuni sukuma sana pigieni wewe mchungaji makofi amekuja kuniokoa wengine mlitaka kuniokoa mkaogopa bas so this bishop kwa hivyo huyu askofu i was so impressed because in this country when you hear the word bishop kwa sababu katika taifa hili ukisikia neno ama jina askofu you are associated with the bishop that is greedy unaanza kufikiria askofu ambaye anatamani with the bishop that wants to manipulate his people ama yule ambaye angependa kuchukulia watu wake kwa njia mbaya so sometimes the word bishop ninaionaga na iogopa kidogo because there are bishops and bishops you know kwa hivyo kila wakati nikiona hilo neno askofu ninaogopa sana bishop lakini huyu askofu the politicians that spoke wanasiasa walionena spoke so good about him walimzungumza mema kumhusu because one time he was the chairman of the CDF Kenangofu all kwa, of it kwa sababu wakati mmoja alikuwa mwenyekiti wa CDF kule Kinangofu they are building a polytechnic there he Wana... was able to put all the money he was given he put 10 million there walikuwa oh, anajenga chuo pale na akaweka zile senti zote katika ujenzi there are three tamaks from you know we used to tell them watu wa kinakofu lami inaishiaga kwetu pale kirima wale mnajua huko kwetu kwetu kuna pale peta kwa kirima kirima ni ukipanda national the service pale inaishia unaingia parapara zingine za ajabu na kweli moja ya kwenda kwa kinawasho ingine ya kwenda huko huko na kalima na kwingine na hata hata kwa kina bitris they said the bishop was so involved in making sure that tamak which goes through murogaro that one which goes out to engineer that one which goes out to karema and the other one which will go to kwangothi you know kwangothi for some of you you don't know where kwangothi is that is our best hospital in kenakof alihusika sana katika ujenzi ya mabarabara sehemu hizo amekusia so impressed na nikafurahishwa sana kwamba askofu I said bishop I would like to associate myself with you. Na nikasema kwamba ningependa kuhusika na wewe askofu. When he spoke he said, "Huyu bishop Kimani ni yeye tufundisha." Na aliponena Waja kuiba sadaka. <laughs> oh man, I hope I can have helped somebody else here. Amen. Waja kuiba sadaka Amen. na kuangalia ndugu ambaye ana noti kubwa, pale anaitumbukiza unaambia Asha, hiyo ipelekwe kwa ofisi. I was so impressed. 
I don't know whether you have gone to a place you want to cry. Nilifurahishwa sana. He said, Bishop Kimani, we came to your church with the uh, Njiri and so on and I know them. They were all there. Kumana alisema kwamba askofu Kimani as, as young people. Nilikuja no, Bishop, I cannot. I never saw you do it, so I will not do it. Akasema askofu sikukuwa na ukifanya hivyo, kwa hivyo sitafanya hata mimi. The bishop is in the government of Nyandarua. Na huyo askofu wako katika serikali ya Nyandarua. When the governor stood, he said, "Oh man, when I left, I told the bishop, "Dere aragia shia kukura kwa dere dia ga." Na we okaragia shia kwa. You know? Hiyo ni kali kwa. Nilimwambia nitakuwa nikiongea yake wherever I will be going because I was so impressed. Anasema nilisema kwamba nitakuwa na zungumza kumhusu. Yes, we can talk about one bishop. There could be nine others that are misbehaving, but there is one. It's like Christianity. Kuna mmoja ambaye amesimama imara hata kama wengine tisa hawajaenenda sawa sawa. It's like Christianity. Ni kama Ukristo. Ati siokoke kwa sababu Wakristo wanaanguka. Hapana kuna wale hawaangukagi. Amen. You know. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Tunashukuru jina la Bwana. That we can pick the good. Kwamba tunaweza chukua yale mema. Katika hali yoyote ile. And actually bless the name of the Lord. Na tulishukuru jina la Bwana. Last Sunday Jumapili iliyopita kwetu sisi a child is born mtoto amezaliwa and we said that child na tukasema yule mtoto because the child is born kwa sababu mtoto amezaliwa he comes and he gives us expectation anakuja na anatupatia matarajio they that wait upon the lord they will renew their strength there is some godliness and we find it in all the shallowness of god wale wamgojea wa bwana wataosha upya nguvu zao so a child comes to give us expectancy we expect kwa hivyo yule mtoto anakuja kutupatia tarajio tunaendelea kutarajia kwamba tutaishi na kuweza kutangaza wema wa Bwana Isaiah said the child coming to us Isaiah akasema yule mtoto ametujia it's showing potential ana vitu ama rasilimali ndani yake I said don't blame your children kwa hivyo usilaumu usila watoto wako watie moyo speak good about them zungumza mema kuwahusu because there is a lot of potential in our children kwa sababu kuna vi, vitu vingi ambavyo viko ndani yao some of the children we have some of them will rescue you wale watoto tunao kuna wale wataweza kutukomboa and you know there are some of us that know it doesn't matter whether it's a son or a daughter any one of them bless them you na wengi, don't know na wengi wetu tunajua kwamba hata akiwa binti ama mwana wabariki wote kwa maana hujui ni nani atakaye kuwa baraka kwako and we don't know whether the next president after after the other one who is coming after Kenyatta will come from Zimmerman we have no idea and na, he could na hujui even seated among us pengine yule rais ambaye atakaye kuja siku za uzoni ana atatoka hapa Zimmerman because potentiality deals with the fact that god can do exceedingly kwa sababu abundantly inahusika inahusika kwamba Mungu anaweza kufanya zaidi na juu ya vyote even more than we think or even imagine zaidi ya vile tunavyowaza ama kufikiria na pia ile kuwekwa rasilimali na kuinisha kwamba Mungu above our own understanding anaweza kutenda kazi juu ya kufikiria kwetu potentiality deals with the fact that inamaanisha kwamba though we may be in darkness right now hata ingawa tuko gizani sasa joy is coming in the morning furaha itakuja siku ya saa ya kwa sababu kwetu sisi mtoto amezaliwa and finally we found out na hatimaye tukagundua and was a child is born kwamba kwetu mtoto God amezaliwa is giving us responsibility mungu anatupatia kuwajibika and we said yes i can defeat the devil na tukasema kweli tunaweza mshinda shetani because god has done it kwa sababu Mungu amemshinda. Lakini wajibu wangu is to resist him. Ni kuweza kumkataa. Sio kupigana naye. Kwa sababu tayari ameshindwa. Resist him. Lakini kumkataa. I can move mountains. Ninaweza kusongesha milima. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu linaniambia. My responsibility. Lakini wajibu wangu is to face the mountain. Ni kuweza kukabiliana na milima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today na leo we move into the next phase of that statement. Tunaingia katika sehemu nyingine ya hilo andiko. We saw unto us a child is born. Tukaona kwetu sisi mtoto amezaliwa. But now the second one is this. Lakini ya pili ni hili. And unto us. 
Na kwetu sisi a son is given. Mwana amepeanwa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. So Isaiah continues his prophet prophecy. Isaiah anaendelea katika unabii wake. And to us a child is born. Nasema kwetu sisi mtoto amezaliwa. And he goes deeper to tell us. Na anaenda kwa undani zaidi anasema. And to us a son is given. Kwetu sisi tumepewa mwana. It is interesting to note at this point. Ni kufurahisha kujua wakati huu. Just like we said last Sunday. Kama vile tulivyosema Jumapili. Isaiah after he saw the Lord. Kwamba Isaiah alipomwona Mungu. After Uzia died. Wakati mfalme Uzia alikuwa amekufa. He start burning with the desire. Akaanza kuwa na shauku mmo ndani yake ili akamfuate Mungu. He says here I am God send me. Na anasema Mungu niko hapa nitume. And no wonder Isaiah. Na ndio maana Isaiah previously hapo awali had walked with other people that loved God. Alikuwa ametembea na watu waliompenda Mungu. He had walked with Azaria. Alikuwa ametembea na Azaria. He even started together with Obadiah and A- Jonah and Micah. Akaanza pamoja na Obadiah, Jonah na Mika. And then he finds himself serving alongside Hosea, na and Joel and Amos. Na anajikuta akitumika pa miongoni mwa uh, Joel na Amos. So while we think Isaiah is a major prophet, na kwa, kwa nini tunafikiria kwamba yeye alikuwa nabii ambaye alikuwa ni mkuu it is clear ni kwa sababu ni wazi that the entire group of prophets had a vital word from the lord kwamba wale manabii wote walikuwa na neno muhimu kutoka kwa Mungu and when i was in, in school they told us they are major just because they have written so much na tukaambiwa shuleni kwamba wao tunawaita manabii wakuu kwa sababu wameandika maandiko makubwa lakini kulingana na ujumbe even the prophecy of joel hata jumbe kama ya yoeli the prophecy of micah ya mika and the other book that i told you you don't know where it is na kile kitabu kingine nilikwambia ujui kiko wapi nahum kitabu cha nahum because you don't even read it kwa sababu huwa hatuisomi mara even nyingi that prophecy hata ile unabii major as far as god is concerned bado ni, ni kuu kulingana na vile mungu anavyoangalia the book of proverbs tells us katika kitabu cha methali tunaambiwa instruction to a wise man patia mtu mwenye hekima maagizo and he will increase in wisdom na ataendelea kukua katika hekima he will increase in learning ataendelea kukua katika kuelewa and he says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom na anasema chanzo cha hekima ni kuogopa mungu and the knowledge of the holy is understanding na kujua utakatifu ni kuelewa Second Timothy picks the same thing. Timotheo wa pili ananena kuhusu hilo hilo jambo. When he says in Second Timothy, anaposema katika Timotheo wa pili, stand to show yourself. Kwamba hakikisha umejionyesha. Approved unto God. Kwamba ume 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 umekubalika na Mungu. A workman that neither to be ashamed. Mtendakazi ambaye anaaibiki rightly dividing the word of truth. Anaegawa neno la uh, la ukweli katika njia inayostahili. It is good to know that God. Ni vema kujua kwamba Mungu puts into us. Anaweka ndani yetu word. neno lake. But unless that word burns within us. Lakini kama hilo neno halitachomeka ndani it yetu. It just remain as a word. Itabaki tu kuwa neno. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Mungu libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our modern day katika siku za nyakati hizi we have prophets too tuna manabii pia but i love the prophecy of isaiah myself lakini mimi napenda unabii wa isaiah because isaiah in the confusion kwa sababu isaiah katika ile hali ya kuchanganyikiwa katika ile hali ya vita and them being taken to captivity na wanachukuliwa mateka He speaks to them like this. Anawanenea kwa njia ifuatayo. He tells them wash yourself. Anawaambia jitakaseni. Make yourself clean. Jitakaseni. Put away the evil of your doing. Muweke kando uovu wote. Cease to do evil. Acha kutenda uovu. Learn to do well. Na uanze kujifunza kutenda mema. Seek judgment. Tafuta hukumu. Relieve the oppressed ili ukaweze kuwatenda mema wale ambao wamegandamizwa. Uweze kuhukumu kwa njia ya haki wale wasio na baba. Bleed for the widows. Na uweze kuwatetea wale wajane. Na uwa, uwatie moyo waambie waje. Let us reason together. Anasema njoo tuweze tukasemezana. Let us reason together. Njoo tusemezane pamoja. And though your sins are as red as scarlet. Na hata ingawa dhambi zako ni nyekundu kama jamu. They white as snow. Itaweza kuwa nyeupe kama theluji. Though they are red like crimson. Hata kama imekuwa nyekundu zaidi. They shall be 
Whoa. Itakuwa kama sufi. He tells them if you be willing and obedient kama utaweza kusikiza na kutii you shall eat the good of the land utakula mema ya nchi but if you refuse and rebel lakini ukikataa kabisa you shall be devoured with the sword basi utamalizika kwa upanga for the word the mouth of the lord has spoken kwa sababu kinywa cha mungu kimenena those are bold words yale ni maneno mazito no wonder he tells them na ndio maana anawaelezea the child we are going to have kwamba mtoto ambaye tutakuwa naye although we are going to be responsible hata kama tutawajibika there is going to be some responsibility that we are going to have ni lazima kuwe na wajibu tutakuwa nao there's a lot of potential hata kama ndani yake kutakuwa na vitu ambavyo vimewekwa na tunatarajia mengi yet is coming as a judge lakini anakuja kama hakimu blessed be the name of the lord jina la mungu lisifiwe Unto us a kwe, son is given. Kwa tu sisi tumepewa mwana. And the government will be on his shoulders. Na ufalme utakuwa begani mwake. And he will be called wonderful counselor. Na ataitwa mshauri wa ajabu. He will be called mighty God. Ataitwa Mungu mkuu. He will be called everlasting father. Ataitwa baba wa milele. He will be called the prince of peace. Ataitwa um, falme wa amani and the government will be upon his shoulders na ile ufkifalme nguvu za kifalme zitakuwa begani na ataitwa mshauri wa ajabu he will be called a mighty god ataitwa mungu he will be called the everlasting father ataitwa baba wa milele he will be called the prince of peace ataitwa mfalme wa amani he will be called ataitwa we will call him tutamuita you know i love the lord nampenda mungu because after he blesses me kwa sababu anaponibariki i can call him ninaweza kumuita you see there are there are names in the bible kuna majina katika biblia it is not god who called himself sio mungu peke yake alijiita when god did something to his people lakini mungu alitenda mambo kwa watu wake for example when abraham was given a sacrifice kama ibrahimu alipopewa dhabihu oh, he looked to jehovah and said jehovah akatazama mtu akasema kwamba Mungu kwangu mimi wewe ni jiri jina la Mungu libariki kwa yule ambaye ameponywa tunamuita Rafa yule ambaye anahitaji amani tunamuita Shalom so we can call him kwa hivyo tutamuita and in this christmas na katika christmas hii utamuita nani people will call him watu watamuita wonderful counselor mshauri wa ajabu if he counsels you not like people kama atakushauri we can call him counselor tutamuita mshauri blessed be the name of the lord jina la mungu libariki so he will be called kwa hivyo ataitwa so if you if you continue reading the whole of the book of isaiah ukiendelea kusoma kitabu chote cha isaiah you will find that it is coming from a man utagundua kwamba inatoka kwa mtu who has not only walked with god ambaye hajatembea tu na mungu but he knows god lakini anamjua mungu and he has faith in god na ana imani kwake mungu even when the situation looks so bad hata wakati mambo ni magumu and then boldly proclaims na anatangaza kwa ujasiri and to us kwamba kwetu sisi child is born mtoto amezaliwa blessed be the name of the lord jina la mungu libarikiwe so today kwa hivyo leo the same prophet is telling us ule nabii anatuelezea and to us kwetu sisi a son tumepewa tumepewa mwana just briefly kwa ufupi the idea of the son ilo neno mwana in the mind of the ancient katika um, nia za wale watu wa kale significant meaning and relevance ina, oh, ina ina maana tofauti a son communicates not only a line of decency mwana anatangaza tio tu njia ya uko but also a relationship lakini uhusiano a teacher could say of an exceptional student mwalimu anaweza kusema kuhusu mtoto ambaye ana anatenda ana, ana vyema darasani that's my son anaweza sema yule ni mwanangu a bishop askofu could look to a faithful member atatazama muumini ambaye ni mwaminifu and say like i i have just said that uh, bishop the bishop jinsi ambavyo nimesema kuhusu yule askofu passed by here see hiyo nasikia raha kidogo alipitia hapa kwa kwa maneno mengine ninafurahia a church could say about a youth that grow within their fellowship kanisa linaweza kusema kuhusu kijana this is a son of the church kwamba huyu ni mwana wa kanisa hili so the idea of son kwa hivyo neno mwana is connected to a membership of a group or a family inalingana na uhusiano katika familia ama kikundi mind of the ancient was that a son was a gift from god 
na hawa walikuwa wameamini kwamba mwana ni kipawa kutoka kwa Mungu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Mungu libariki. Us, Kwetu sisi. Son mwana is given. Tumepewa. And remember it's happening before Christ is born. Na ukumbuke hili andiko limeandikwa kabla ya Yesu kuzaliwa. And the man of God is seeing a child being born. Na huyu mtumishi wa Mungu anaona mtoto atazaliwa. And the son in the in the child is seeing the son being given. Na katika huyu mtoto anaona mwana akipeana. And in the son he is seeing authority. Na anaona anaona mamlaka katika yule mtoto. He is seeing counsel. Anaona ushauri. He is seeing a kingdom. Anaona ufalme. A kingdom that will last forever and ever. Ufalme ambao utakuwa ni milele Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Mungu libariki. I know if we went to study about the sun. Ninajua ukienda kusoma kuhusu wana. You will learn so many things. Utajifunza mambo mengi sana. But I will just pick about three. Lakini nitazungumza kuhusu tatu. Which I find from the passage that we have read. Ambazo ninapata kutoka kwa andiko tumesoma. To us. Kwamba kwetu sisi. A son is given. Tumepewa mwana. And the government will be on his shoulder. Na ufalme utakuwa begani mwake. And he will be called wonderful counselor. Na ataitwa mshauri wa ajabu. He will be called mighty God. Ataitwa Mungu mkuu. He will be called everlasting Father. Ataitwa Baba wa milele. He will be called Prince of Peace. Ataitwa Mfalme wa amani. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Baba libarikiwe. So for a son. Kwa hivyo sisi mwana what I find we have been given here. Kile ambacho ninagundua tumepewa hapa. We have been given number one. Tumepewa jambo la kwanza. God has given us priority. Mungu ametupatia kuchagua his priority. Chaguo la kwanza. The son had the priority in the family relationship. Kwa sababu mwana ni chaguo la kwanza katika jamii. Particularly if the son was the first born. Na hasa kama yule mwana alikuwa kifungua mimba. And I like adding here. Na ningefurahia maandiko ya hapa. First born and there some of them could be listening to me. Na njua kwamba wale ambao ni kifungua mimba na wengine wanansikiza leo. If they do what the parents wanted them to do. Kama walifanya zile ambazo wazazi walitaka wafanye. Some of us that were not number one, number two, number three, Wengine wetu hatukuwa wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu ama wa nne and we have a way of overtaking na tumepata njia ya, ya kuweza kupita wale wengine like david kama daudi he was the smallest alikuwa mdogo zaidi but the lord had a way of picking that son of jesse lakini mungu alikuwa na njia ya kumchukua yule mwana wa yesu and him around akambadilisha and give him a kingdom na akampatia ufalme unify everybody ili awache kila mmoja mwingine on, na Yesu baadaye akaweza kuungana na yule yule mtu Daudi no na ufalme wake hautaisha ni wa umile so that was the issue with the prodigal son and the elder son na hivyo ndivyo ilivyokuwa na yule mwana mpotevu na mwana aliyebaki nyumbani was not the first born aliyebaki nyumbani and when he went a, yule wa pili hakuwa wa kwanza akaenda akala kila kitu alichokuwa nacho mwana wa kwanza alikuwa mwaminifu kwa babaye i think he was more prodigal than the prodigal lakini alikuwa mpotevu kushinda yule mpotevu when the son comes home yule mwana aliporudi nyumbani his brother ndugu yake he knew where, where his brother was alikuwa anajua mahali ndugu yake aliyekuwa lakini akwambia babake why do i say so kwa nini nasema hivyo because he's the one who tells his father kwa sababu ni yeye anaambia babake son of yours huyo mwana wako alienda aka tumia mali yake yote yani kama alikuwa he went and used all his property kama alijua area zile alizikuwa ko it's like he knew where this man was sasa amekuja unachinja and he's he's grumbling why has he come and then you slaughtered for him and the father tells him na baba anamwambia as far as i'm concerned jinsi ambavyo mimi nahusika everything here is yours kila kitu ambacho kiko hapa ni chako you can even ask for it unaweza ukakiitisha You know looking at the prodigal son. Ukiangalia yule mwana mpotevu, I see a lot of us as the first born son. Ninatazama naona wengine wetu ni kama yule mwana aliyebaki nyumbani. All what we see. Kile ambacho tunaona is the wrong the other people have done. Ni mabaya wale wengine wamefanya. What we don't see. Kile ambacho hatuoni is that we can ask. Ni kwamba tunaweza uliza. All what we need is to ask. Tunaweza kuitisha. When we landed to Egypt. Tulipofika pale Misri, I wanted to shave nilitaka kunyoa and i went to the reception na nikaenda pale katika reception hotel i want a shaving kit 
na nikauliza nipewe kile chombo cha kunyoa I, I, you know it's not like nisaidie hapana nataka it's not help me you, you, i want when you, when you travel you know you are right ukiwa unasafiri unajua eh, vitu ambavyo unastahili kuwa navyo hata kanyui ya kunyoa ni right yako a shaving machine is your right ukienda hotel hotel zingine ni chwara chwara lakini kuna hotel <laughs> but if you ask they will give it to you ukiuliza utapewa hata huko tumetoka juzi niliuliza even in this place where i was the other day i requested i discovered mine was not helpful shaving kit and i found a girl washing around and i asked for a shaving kit can i surprise you wacha nikushangaze alikuwa na nyingi sana za watu waitishe she had so many for people to request na nikajua kuna watu wengi tumekaa kwa hiyo hoteli wameenda na madevu yao And I discovered there are people Na whom we were wa, within the hotel who did not uh, were not able to request. I'm saying some of us are like the prodigal son who never went. Wengine wetu ni kama wale wana ambao hawakuenda kila kitu ni chetu. Ask for it. And to us son is given. Kwetu sisi tumepewa mwana. Just to ask. Jifunze kuuliza. It is ours. Jifunze kuuliza kwa sababu ni chako. The joy is mine furaha ni yetu because we have been given kwa, the son kwa sababu tumepewa mwana ambaye ni mfalme the priority was a position well established in the mind of the ancient uchaguo ilikuwa ni jambo ambalo lilikuwa limekaa lime katika akili za watu it. na walielewa they even understood what isaiah meant walielewa isaya alimaanisha nini wakati alisema Friends, marafiki don't you worry msijali a child is born Mwan, mtoto amezaliwa lakini zaidi ya mtoto we have been given a son tumepewa mwana and this son na huyu mwana who will be the ruler atakuwa mtawala blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe the second thing that i find from the passage that we read jambo la pili ambalo napata katika andiko tumesoma authority mamlaka authority mamlaka this was also a significant element hili lilikuwa ni jambo la muhimu sana pia because the power kwa sababu nguvu rank nguvu na and position of the father nguvu na mahali ambapo baba anakaa was inherited to the son ilikuwa imepewa yule mwana you see where i come from mahali nitokako as long as you are not married kama haujaolewa kacherali kama haujaolewa kimila eh unajua 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 tukisema ka, kama hujaolewa hiyo ina si kizungu hiyo hapa kule wanaoleagwa ni <laughs> sasa <laughs> kama hujaoa <laughs> dio dio hiyo that kama hujaoa kama hujaoa the camp of the elders ungeingia kikaa ungekaa katika kikao cha wazee of course squeeze tunaingia tu nowadays but, you're but, free to enter but those days kuingia kikao cha wazee lazima ukiakuwa umeoa in those days you had to be married to sit uh, among the elders and they would say the first child the first son is no, like the father wangesema yule mwana wa kwanza ni kama baba yake so he would do the things that the father have asked him kwa hivyo angefanya mambo ambayo baba amemuuliza afanye. So a son had the authority to wear his father's ring and stamp. Kwa hivyo yule mwana alikuwa na mamlaka ya kuvaa pete ya baba yake. The word of the son had the power to bind contracts and agreements. Na neno la yule mwana ilikuwa inatosha ili waweze kukua na kandarasi kamilifu. Just like his father. Jinsi ambavyo babaye alikuwa na weza. Played an important role in de- developing early relationship by marrying the daughters of heads of the key foreign kingdom. Mwana alikuwa analeta mahusiano kwa kuoa wana ama mabinti ya wafalme wengine. And Isaiah is saying Isaiah anasema kwetu sisi mwana he's trying to say this son 
Anajaribu kusema huyu Ako na mamlaka yote. Anaweza kuwa na pete ya baba yake. Anaweza kuweka muhuri kwa kila kitu. Anaweza kutangaza kandarasi. Kwa sababu mwana tumepewa. Ujue wanalia, wana hofu kwa sababu kuna giza. Lakini Isaiah anasimama anasema, "Hey, tumepewa mwana." And they all know what a son signifies. Na wote wanaelewa mwana anamaanisha nini. Anamaanisha mamlaka. Nguvu za baba. Authority from the father. Mamlaka kutoka kwa baba. He can do all things. Anaweza kufanya mambo yote. And we want to declare to one to each one of us. Na ningependa kutangaza kwa kila mmoja wetu. Kwamba Christmas hii have been given a, a, a child has been born. Mtoto amezaliwa. But in the son, in the in the child. Lakini ndani ya yule mtoto we are being given a son. Tumepewa mwana. Power, nguvu, authority, mamlaka of the father ya baba is with the son. Iko ndani ya mwana. No wonder. Na ndio maana even God in heaven. Hata Mungu mbinguni he affirmed his son. Akaweza kutangaza kuhusu mwana by echoing what is I had said. Kwa kutangaza yale yale Isaiah alikuwa amesema. Na akaweza kudhibitisha kwamba huyu ni mwanangu ndani yake well ninafurahishwa mwana akatoka mbinguni god confirming mungu akadhibitisha jesus akadhibitisha kwa yesu kwamba huyu ni mwanangu remember what isaiah had said kumbuka yale isaiah alikuwa amesema kwamba mtoto amezaliwa tumepewa mwana and he has all the power na ako na nguvu zote and then god declares na mungu naye anadhibitisha kwamba huyu ni mwanangu in whom i'm well pleased ndani yake nimependezwa blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe in whom i'm well pleased ndani yake ninafurahishwa something else that i find jambo lingine ninapata i find liberty ninapata uhuru that this son comes to give us liberty kwamba huyu mwana amekuja kutupatia uhuru it is also most important na jambo la muhimu zaidi a very important element when the ancients had that a son would be given jambo muhimu sana wale watu wa kale waliposikia mwana wamepewa was something they knew will happen walijua kwamba watapata uhuru with the sons growing up to become deliverers and unifiers mwana anapokuwa na aweze kuwa mkombozi ama wa kuweka pamoja blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libariki and i think i had said na nilisema that God through his own ways. Kwamba Mungu kwa njia zake binafsi the son of Jesse. Alichukua mwana wa Yesu. The youngest of the sons of Jesse. Aliyekuwa mdogo zaidi ya wale wana. Shepherd boy. Ambaye alikuwa mchungaji. He raised them to be king. Akamuinua akamfanya mfalme. He gave him power to unify the people. Akampatia nguvu za kuweka watu wawe pamoja. He turned Jerusalem to be the city of David. Akabadilisha ile Jerusalem ikawa ya Daudi. He became a unifier. Akafanya watu wawe pamoja. I'm speaking to the sons of God. Na anazungumza kuhusu wana wa Mungu. I'm speaking to the sons of God. Ninazungumzia wana wa Mungu. You know I just hope we can understand this. Ningependa tuelewe haya. You know it, 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 it sometimes it, it is a little bit complex. Wakati mwingine ni ngumu kiasi that here on earth kwamba hapa ulimwenguni when the lord is speaking to us mungu anapotunenea he is speaking to us as his sons anatunenea kama wana wake but very soon lakini hivi karibuni he will speak to us atatunenea as his bride kama bi harusi wake my prayer yes ombi langu as kwamba, long as i am a son kwamba kama mimi ni mwana i'm going to behave like a son nitakaa kama mwana with the authority that god has given me ndani ya mamlaka mungu ameipatia na nitaambia watu acha kuangalia skati do not look I'm a at the son of god mimi ni mwana i can do all things ninaweza kufanya mambo yote kupitia kristo anitiae nguvu lakini ninajiandaa pia the bride of christ kama bibi harusi wa yesu that is the complex hapo ndio kuna ugumu blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libariki some of us have an idea wengine wetu tuna mawazo hii biblia ibadilishwe so that the bible can be changed is and equal sons It should not be written sans. Iwe sexless. Iwe watu ambao hawana jinsia. Iandikwe mambo mengine. So that we can write something else. And this morning when I was thinking about this. 
Leo nilipokuwa nikiwazia haya Do you know there are some people Kuna watu wengine in the world today Katika ulimwengu wa leo wanalea watoto wao They raise their children sexless bila jinsia Not a girl sio binti not a boy. na sio mwana Na ukiita mtoto wake kamusichana And if you call their child a daughter Sura inakasirika They get mad Ukiita mtoto wake kijana If you yani, call their children a they son They are fighting against anything Wanapigana na kila kitu You have not gone to Thailand Haujawahi kwenda Thailand Go Nenda Go Nenda Niliona mtu amevaa kama msichana I saw a person dressed like a girl Lakini kifua yake ni flat kabisa But the chest had nothing Lakini midomo amepaka rangi But they had lipstick on But I, I was warned by my son I was told this is the country where people change their sexes Nikaambiwa kwamba katika taifa hili watu wanabadilisha jinsia yao But in Canada Lakini kule Canada children are being trained not to be long to any whether male or female they have to be people Watoto wanafunzwa wasiwe wa jinsia yoyote wao ni watu tu My prayer ombi langu is that huyu jamaa anaitwa kaka Is that this man called kaka Aliitwa kaka nani Ati nini nani kaka Ati anaitwa Aende Canada That he may be able to go to Canada Sio mimi nilisema ni yeye alisema It's not me who said it's him who said that Because you see it is God who decides nitazaliwa vipi Ni Mungu anaamua nitazaliwa jinsia gani Right And then I'm always trying to fight against it Kisha nianze kupigana naye Ah No Me all allow God he created me the way I am Niliumbwa jinsi nilivyo na ni sawa Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Uhuru. God raised David. Mungu akainua Daudi. To unify. Alete umoja. The whole of Israel. Katika Israeli. But what did he not know? Lakini kitu ambacho hakujua. Was what John would disclose later in the Gospel of John. Ni kile ambacho Yohana angetambulisha baadaye. When he finally says. Mahali ambapo alisema. For God so loved the world kwamba kwa Mungu alipenda ulimwengu that he gave his only begotten son akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee that was whoever believed in him ili kila amwamini shall not perish asipote but have eternal life bali awe na uzima wa milele blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe so i am glad myself kwa hivyo mimi na god gave his son kwamba Mungu alipeana mwanawe his son lives in line with his father's will mwanawe anaishi kulingana na mapenzi ya baba yake jesus says at resurrection and your man yesu anasema wakati wa kufufuka is given to me nguvu zote nimepewa remember what we read pale tulisoma that he his government kwamba ufalme wake the government will be on his shoulders falme zitakuwa begani mwake in verse number 7 katika mstari wa 7 of the greatness of his government kwamba nguvu za ufalme wake and peace na amani there will be no end hakutakuwa na so mwisho Jesus says all power is given unto me Yesu kisha anasema nguvu zote nimepewa and on earth binguni na ulimwenguni that is authority hiyo ni mamlaka oh blessed be the name of the lord jina la Yesu libariki finally he says na mwisho anasema you shall know the truth utajua ukweli and the truth will set you free na ukweli utakuweka huru if the son therefore shall make you free kwa hivyo kama mwana shall be free indeed utakuwa huru kweli that is liberty na huo ni uhuru are you following je mnafuata are you following mnafuata let me go back again acha nirudi i'm so glad god gave his son ninashukuru mungu alipeana mwana wake because his son lives in line with his father's will kwa sababu mwana anaishi kulingana na mapenzi ya baba remember what i told you the father is the one who affirms the son baba ndiye anadhibitisha mwana wake this is my beloved son anasema huyu ni mwana wangu mpendwa please ndani yake ninapendeza now that is priority na hilo ni uchaguo ya nambari moja the priority of god yeye ni uchaguo nambari moja the resurrection he is says na katika ufufuo mwana anasema power is given unto me nguvu zote nimepewa 
in heaven and on earth. Mbinguni na ulimwenguni. Now that is authority. Hiyo ni mamlaka. Finally he says. Mwishowe anasema. You shall know the truth. Mtajua ukweli. And the truth will set you free. Na ukweli utakuweka huru. You shall therefore If the son therefore shall make you free. Kwa hivyo Mwana atakapokuweka huru. You shall be free indeed. Mtakuwa huru Now, kweli kweli. That is liberty. Huo ni uhuru. We are saying a son has been given. Tunasema Mwana amepeana. The priority from the father. Mtaguo na bari moja. The son has been given. Kwamba Mwana tumekewa. He comes with authority from the father. Anakuja na mamlaka kutoka kwa baba. The son is able. Kwamba Mwana anaweza. To make us free. Kutufanya huru. The son therefore shall make you free. Kwa hivyo Mwana akituweka huru. You shall be free indeed. Utakuwa huru kabisa. And to us. Kwetu sisi. A son is given. Mwana tumepewa. Who is the priority from God. Ambaye ni uchaguo wa baba. He comes with the authority of God. Anakuja na mamlaka ya Mungu. And he is able to give us liberty na ana uwezo wa kutupatia uhuru ambao unapatikana tu ndani ya Mungu. So when we say Merry Christmas. Kwa hivyo tunaposema Merry Christmas. We are saying. Tunasema this Christmas. Kwamba Christmas hii the sun is the priority from God. Mwana ndiye uchaguo kutoka kwa Baba. When we say Merry Christmas. Nikisema Merry Christmas. The sun has come with the authority from God. Ni kwamba Mwana amekuja na mamlaka kutoka kwa Mungu. When we say Merry Christmas. Tukisema Merry Christmas. We are saying this sun tunasema huyu mwana gives us the freedom anatupatia uhuru and he can give us liberty na anaweza kutupatia uhuru which is only found in god ambao unapatikana tu ndani ya mungu our gracious heavenly father mungu wetu oh we want to thank you kile tungependa kukushukuru that a child is born kwamba mtoto amezaliwa that gives us expectancy inatupatia matarajio and heavenly father a child is born mungu wa mbinguni mwana amezaliwa And the father he comes with potential. Na anakuja na nguvu ndani yake. Our father son is born. Mungu wetu mwana amezaliwa. We have responsibility. Tunawajibika. But father from the child. Kutoka kwa huyu mwana in Mungu. In the child. Ndani ya huyu mwana. Through the child. Kupitia kwa huyu mwana. You are giving us a son. Unatupatia mwana. And in this son na huyu mwana he, be, he comes as a priority from the father. Anakuja kama uchaguo, uchaguo kutoka kwa baba. And the son carries authority from the father. Na anabeba mamlaka kutoka kwa Mungu. And the son can set us free. Na huyu mwana atatuweka huru. Indeed if Jesus Christ sets you free. Kweli kabisa Yesu akituweka huru. You'll be free indeed. Tutakuwa huru kamili. Even this Christmas. Hata Christmas hii. Father I want to thank you for everyone that has come. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kila mmoja amekuja. And they continue enjoying Christmas. Na wanapoendelea kufurahia Christmas. We pray that we are going to be so happy. Tunaomba kwamba tutafurahia sana. We can do all things through Christ. Kwamba tunaweza kufanya mambo yote ndani ya Kristo. Ambaye anatupa nguvu. That we are set free. Kwamba tumewekwa huru. The Lord has set us free. Na Mungu ametuweka huru. Oh we give you praise. Tunakupa sifa. And we give you honor. Na tunakupa utukufu.